Welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. And today we are making the most epic BLT classic American sandwich that you have ever had. The first thing you want to consider with the BLT is obviously the ingredients. Something that is always overlooked, always constantly overlooked is the bread. You need that thick Texas toast, the tomatoes. You gotta get fresh in season tomatoes. I prefer the Roma tomatoes because they're just small and heartier and they're not as runny as the beefsteak tomato. It's all about the crunch. Oh yeah. And you know how you're gonna get that crunch? Obviously the lettuce. You can't overlook the lettuce. These white parts on an organic piece of romaine, those are perfect. That's what I wanna bite into. Oh yeah, bacon, bacon. 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 The last thing you're gonna want is salt and pepper, and of course, a little bit of tangy zip, Miracle Whip. It's a miracle, baby. How we show you today how to make the BLT is gonna change the way that you make BLTs forever. First things first, we're gonna get started on our bacon weave. What's a bacon weave? We want every bite of this BLT to have bacon in it. There is literally no more satisfying way to do bacon than with a bacon weave. It is literally like an edible work of art once it's completed and ensures your BLT has bacon in every bite. I kind of feel like it would be a really cool t-shirt design. Is that weird? Now we're just gonna throw this bacon weave into the oven at 350 degrees for roughly 20 minutes. While the bacon's in the oven, we're gonna chop up our vegetables. You want some thinly sliced, fresh Roma tomatoes for this. And then we want some finely chopped lettuce. BLTs are all about the bread. So today we're gonna turn this average white Texas toast into something amazing. We are gonna French toast the f out of it. Now let's get our French toast mixture ready. You're gonna need two eggs and a quarter cup of cream. Next, you're gonna add one tablespoon of icing sugar. Trust me on this, it's gonna taste amazing. Now, just add a pinch of cinnamon. A tablespoon of butter in a pan on medium heat, and you're good to go. We're just gonna get our pan, gonna submerge our toast. Make sure you get all the edges. Shake off the excess. The French toasted bread is gonna make all the difference in your BLT. There's nothing worse than a crummy, dry BLT. This is gonna hold the sandwich together and make it that much easier to enjoy. Once you try a BLT with French toast, you'll never make it any other way. This is my secret weapon right here. And what BLT would be complete without Miracle Whip? This next step I'm gonna show you is another game changer. You're gonna take your lettuce, shred it up nice and small, and mix it in with the mayo. And this is gonna be absolutely amazing in your BLT. Our bacon is ready. Our perfect bacon weave easily slide it on to our paper towel. Okay, so we got our bread here, we got our bacon, we got our lettuce, mayo, tomato. Let's get this BLT party started. The perfect combination of all the right things, all the right layers. The beauty of the bacon weave is that you can cut it exactly to fit your BLT. best BLT I've ever had. Mm. Now this is an all-American BLT. French toast, no crumbs, it's foolproof. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. That little bell right there, turn your notifications on. We have so many more delicious recipes to come.